The creation of soil is known as pedogenesis, and there are five factors that influence this process. These factors are parent material, climate, organisms, topography, and time. Parent material is the geologic material from which the soil forms, and it can be directly below the soil in the ground, or it can be a long ways away. Soil is usually made up of a mixture of residual soil and transported soil. Residual soil is soil that's found in the location where it was formed, and transported soil is soil that's made somewhere else and moved by erosion to a new location where it becomes a part of the soil profile. Soil that's transported by ice is known as glacial till, while that that's transported by water is known as alluvium. Colobium is soil that's been transported by gravity, and loess or aeolian is soil that's been transported by wind. Each of these methods of transporting or weathering soil have different characteristics and qualities in how well they sort particles by their size. While some of them will sort very well and will distribute large particles in one area and small particles in another, other methods will transport and deposit with mixed particle sizes. Climate of an area can have a large impact on the formation of soil. The primary factors that come from the climate are how much moisture or water is available in the soil and the temperature of the soil. For example, more moisture in the soil increases plant and microbial growth, which contribute to the breakdown of soil. In addition, this increases the amount of organic matter that is found in that soil. In contrast, low moisture in soil reduces the amount of plant and microbial growth, which reduces the amount of organic matter and slows the breakdown of soil. This thereby reduces the amount of humus that can be found in that soil. In another example, low amounts of moisture in the soil coupled with high temperatures promotes evaporation. These characteristics reduce the removal of calcium carbonate from the soil. And areas that have this type of climate generally have higher pH values in their soils. Living organisms in soil are responsible for the buildup of organic matter in soil and contribute to nutrient cycling. Larger organisms also contribute to soil health and soil creation by mixing different soil horizons together. This is done through burrowing and through the creation of pores between horizons. Plants open channels in soil which then contribute to the amount of organic matter found in that soil once they die. They can also open pathways into more dense areas of soil, which increases permeability, which can lead to greater aeration, nutrient transportation, and water transfer. The slope of the topography in an area can contribute to variations in the temperature and the moisture in the soil of an area. For example, steeper slopes facing the sun are generally warmer than those that have shallow slopes or are facing away from the sun. Also, steeper slopes lose their topsoils more easily and level slopes nearby will receive these topsoil deposits. Finally, time is an essential variable that allows for all the other factors to take place. Each of these described factors takes time for pedogenesis or soil creation to happen.